The best part of last episode, Soe and the cat moment. That was actually pretty peak. Well, maybe Gopta and his friend just like cat calling different girls in the street. These are children, bro. They should not be doing this. Then again, goblins grow up really fast and have a high libido. Anyways, I don't know what's going to happen with this episode. There is no real plot in these episodes, right? So it's kind of hard to predict. So it's just day in the life of everybody. Let's see what's going to happen. Okay. Alright. Hula hoops. How cute. He's probably bored as fuck. Boing, boing, boing. He's going insane. Yeah, this is what happens when you are just in such a structure in your life and you're busy every day and you think that, oh, finally a day off. But then you don't even know what to do. And everything is actually so boring. And you're like, shit, I feel like waste wasting time, right? How many of you guys feel this way? I feel like perfect example of this is like summer break after you're just so locked into school. Then you have time off and you're like, what do I do with my life now? <laughs> We're playing darts. Just looking at the sky. Did the time change? No, nope, the sun's still the same position. Hey, yo. Fidgeting. I'm glad you did. I, I, I'm glad you, you, you specifically said this is fidgeting. Because, like, him moving in that movement, you know, <laughs> he's fucking beating his slime. <laughs> Roll out. No, please don't cook. No, please just don't cook. That's the thing, right? And like, this is supposed to be like a funny moment, so you shouldn't look too deep into it. But like, this is an actual problem that a lot of people have, where they're just so locked in to grinding out a job, you know, studying. But then it's like things that they need to do and when there's nothing to do, you don't even know what you want to do. Because like society has put upon these expectations and you're just grinding and grinding and it, it warps your mindset to the point you don't, you're like, what are my hobbies again? What do I do outside of work? And if you don't understand that part, I feel like that's such a sad way to live. The air in spring and love is in the air, springtime, springtime of youth. Let's go, okay, we got street stalls. Dude, this is almost like the festival that we're setting up for season three. Like having all these different, you know, vendors and like shops and merchants and like just like lined up, right? This is like... This is obviously not on that scale yet, but like, we're getting into that in season 3. Was it always this bustling? <laughs> Hakuro! Rigard! Mustache Hakuro, I still don't know how to feel about him, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. お前さては<笑><笑> I was like, I never knew Shuna and Benny were this intimate in the anime, but the slime darts is like, yo, am I watching Mahoka for a second? Psych. Get kicked out. All right, get out of here. <laughs> Baited. Dude, you know, I was thinking about this the other time, right? Yesterday, slime reaction. The actual slime reaction season three. And yes, I saw Rimuru armpit. I was like, yo, remember how I played Prince of Egypt Deliver Us whenever Gail was doing like backbreaking slave labor? And then I thought about it and I'm like, why does the orcs only do this shit? Sometimes goblins too. And I remembered, oh yeah, Gail's basically paying reparations. Like his entire arc is like atonement. 
because he fucked the ogres up because he fucked the um the uh what's it called the lizard people up so like this is his like path of atonement so he's being kind of like quote unquote punished right <laughs> for for just like doing all the construction work for the forever here so that kind of makes sense <laughs> See? He just like punished me. I need to fucking work harder. <laughs> Geld should work at a daycare. I bet Geld would be the nicest teacher ever. Such a gentle, you know, bear. <laughs> I love Geld. The children love him. <laughs> Bro is so bored. What is he doing? Alright, <laughs> hey. whatever. That's the teacher, right? Geld and her should work together. He's so excited to work those fields. I guess he's passionate about work. And as long as he enjoys it, there's nothing wrong with it. But sometimes people turn to workaholics by simply trying to distract themselves from some kind of problem they have in real life and, you know, forces them to do different labor to just kind of forget about it. Kind of like what Guild is talking about, but like, all right. <laughs> Work them fields. Plow it. I've never seen people so enthusiastic about just like labor. They're like, Woo! I'm excited for these crops! Oh boy! I cannot wait to put in eight hours in the fucking fields! Backbreaking work! This is so exciting! Uh, we do. Not your cooking, though. Oh! <laughs> All right, guys, we farming. All right, these are the realistic examples, right? Everyone else before getting so excited, I'm like, how does that make sense? These are the realest ones here. This is how everyone truly feels. I want to ditch work and go gamble. Gopta's already gone. Because he's the captain of the Goblin Riders. That's what he can get away with. Ah, oh, meditation training, of course. Gopso's the only one doing work. Kurobe's getting more lines. We work for Gaburu Battle. Oh, that's the weapon that he uses against the... Oh, yeah. Reward for the Gabiru Battle. And then it's like a blade that has like a scabbard that shoots like lightning out of it too, right? That's the one, yeah. He went Super Saiyan against Gabiru. That was a sick scene. Psych! Does it work better? Well, it's pretty good for farming. You did! That's not the scabbard I remember. Natto. Soybeans. Nice. Fermented beans. Here, this is like an acquired taste. It's like fermented beans. It's all sticky and gooey. And like at first glance, even the smell, maybe it might be nauseating. But I hear it's actually pretty good. I've never tried it myself. Though. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. She's going to do something crazy with rotten beans. Oh, no. This actually adds so much context. This is why she keeps putting poisonous, hazardous, poison, you know, toxins. That's where this, it all comes from. This is where it's coming from. Now it makes a lot of sense. 
Rice Rice Field. Let's go. <laughs> they had the audition, remember, in the cave last episode? They were so ready. <laughs> no, it shut down immediately. You know what would be cool? Like, uh, in season three, yo, imagine they have, like, a stadium, some kind of, like, theater, where Gabiru and the boys does a performance like they're fucking idols. Like, the whole song and the dance and the choreography. There's no way. There is no way Slime Diaries is, like, you know, being set up for season three content. I don't think that's ever gonna happen. <laughs> Kazuma's voice, bro. <laughs> right. No! No, not to dance! They're a lovable bunch of idiots. Gupta's probably just playing hooky again. Lettuce? I don't know. It's her again. She is, the, she is in charge of farming? That's a huge role. I, have we seen her in the main story? I don't. I think I really see her at all. If maybe she was shown a couple times, I'm focused on Haruna. I see Haruna a lot working with Shuna some episodes, but I don't remember her much. It's a scarecrow. <laughs> was it really the crows that ate that shit? What if it was Gopta? <laughs> Huh? Wow, it's got six pack abs. Very imposing. Are they all being drawn to it? What's happening? <laughs> What's going on? I think the crows fucked it up. Oh my god! The crows got angry! <laughs> they thought that Gopta was easy to kill. All the crops are gone too. <laughs> What is this? Benny and Rimuru, what are they planting? <sighs> oh, soy. Oh! Whoa, whoa, what the fuck? What the fuck? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Sugoi. Is this training? He just flexes on the girls all the time. Damn. 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 Damn! Damn, Gabiru's family got it going. I think that's what it was. All the seeds were lined up in that order, so he did the knives like that, but he just flexed on the girls and left. <laughs> in my head, Soe is thirsted after by other girls because, like, he's so cool and mysterious, right? But secretly, he's like a super dweeb. I think, and, and like, if he did, and people just like, because he's so handsome and, you know, kind of like mysterious and in the shadows, I think people have this wrong understanding about how sexy he is. But secretly, he's like a super fucking dweeb. Like, even like last episode with the cat, right? He's like, Omae wa shindeiru, right? Haruna! Haruna! Haruna and Shuna! I don't like the look in your eye, bro. Especially with the shading here. What do you think? Is he checking them out? <laughs> kind of crazy. Oh! What the fuck are <laughs> They're drawing hentai! They're drawing fan art! <laughs> Master craftsmen, but this is what they do in their, you know, their downtime. <laughs> Let's go, Kyodai. I appreciate it. They are the reason why all these girls have cool drip, man. <laughs> They're the ones making this shit. <laughs> they do get buried to their work. Ooh. Oh. Alright. <clears throat> He's such a softy, man. 
途中越しはさすがにこ What do you mean, old man? Being bent over all day? Certain things. You, you are bent. I know you were on the farm field, but the wording, my man. I'm sorry, I don't think you guys are ever gonna reach that level. It's a fundamental difference in genetics, I feel like. I don't know. Can they? Get named by Rimuru, first of all. Eat your greens, eat your vegetables. How are we gonna do that? Cute kids. A lot of carrots. You just said the kids gotta eat the veggies. Benny doesn't like the carrots. Nah, you gotta eat them, bro. <laughs> Destroyed by Shuna yet again. Damn. This fish is all oh, Trainy is watching go up to farm? What's Trainy up to, man? Maybe Trainy wants to get involved right now. <gasps> Children's Love Guild. Why aren't you guys saying Benny Maru armpit? You were quick to catch on to Rimura's armpit. Benny, flo ben Benny showed his, but I don't see anyone saying anything about that. Hmm. Hmm, I see how it is. You know, oh man, I am so, I'm kind of jealous of a lifestyle like this, right? Because like, this kind of simple lifestyle where you're just in like a communal place and like a tribe and everyone's like pitching in and doing hard work and celebrating at the end of the day, right? This kind of lifestyle is probably truly fulfilling compared to like society where everyone's working just like through capitalism and just working shitty fucking jobs they don't want to. And at the end of the day, we're all depressed and go home. No internet would be fun. Honestly, like no internet kind of sucks. It does. But like just like this kind of lifestyle, I'm sure a lot of people like fent like fantasize about and wants to just like quit their jobs and move from the city to some kind of remote village where everyone just kind of tight knit community and just kind of helping out and stuff like that. It's all right. <laughs> this goblin, I don't know his name, but I've seen him a lot. He is actually part of um, Kion Squad 2 with Gobuzo, right? I forget. But uh, he should also be at the stalls in season three. Gobichi? Okay. He should also be present during the festival in season three, then, with all the food stands. Because I feel like Veldora Tapenyaki is gonna be a thing, but like, I hope he's there too. <laughs> if you need someone who can handle a hoe, just call me. This fucking guy. This fucking guy. He's a hoe master. Uh huh. Them hoes? Let me cover it. Don't worry. <laughs> Yeah, can Trini just like give us blessings for the crops? She's ready to farm? Why'd you say it like that? What the fuck? Trini, what are you implying here? She wants to get an invitation to farm too, but like, what the fuck? Why was that so erotic? Yeah, she was like peeking at everyone working. Trainee likes potato chips? Post credit scene? Post credit scene? Okay. Rain is important, okay. Huh, Tony like potato chips is something I didn't know. Gopta. Gopta is kind of like... What's his fucking name? Ike? Yeah, that's his name, right? In Class of the Elite? 
EK, right? Where he just says like the dumbest shit to Chabashira. It's like, you on your period? <laughs> he's just like looking at her titties like, he just says some shit to the girl that's like, what did you just fucking say? <laughs> I feel like the weathers are determined by Trainee, bro. What was that fucking synchro with the lightning bolt as soon as Trainee heard that? That is today's episode of Slime Diaries. Man, how are they making this so fun? We're just farming. We're just plowing the fields. But it's so good! Because, like, we're already obviously such, like, Tensura lovers, and we know about all the characters, but we're getting more details about them in ways that we didn't know, and just adding just a little bit extra to give more depth to the characters. Probably my favorite skit? I think it might have been the Dwarf Brothers, man. Them like, getting so excited about like, Shuna and Haruna's figures and like, trying to make new designs and clothing and trying to make it a trend. Like, that was actually really fucking funny. And Geld, you know, being good with the kids, that was actually very heartwarming. And Soe, my headcanon is, he's a fucking dweeb, but he just mysterious and cool, so all the girls gush. And that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlists for more content, and until next time, take care.